All right, so we've got our boron on our less substituted position here. And so let's continue uh, going on with this mechanism. And so this thing can repeat multiple times. So it can happen two more times to replace these other hydrogens with more alkyl groups, right? So in this case, what you'd end up with is this boron with these three alkyl groups here, right? Looking something like that. And that's our hydroboration, right? At this point, we've added a hydrogen and we've added a boron, right? Next up, we're gonna move on to the oxidation step. And so the second step of this is oxidation. And here we're going to add some hydrogen peroxide and some sodium hydroxide, right? So, so some peroxide and some base. And so this happens across a number of steps. The first step is going to be a proton transfer between the peroxide and the hydroxide. So the hydroxide is a base. It's going to attack this hydrogen and deprotonate our peroxide. to get our negatively charged peroxide. All right, and so we have three all R groups, right? I'm just gonna draw one of them. The second step here is our peroxide attacks our borane. And then the result of that is this negatively charged boron. In the third step here, we have a rearrangement occurring. In this case, this boron carbon bond is going to jump over here to form a carbon oxygen bond. And then this uh, oxygen oxygen bond is going to break off. And so what we'll form here is this complex right here, right? And so you can see this boron uh, carbon bond has now become a boron oxygen bond. All right, and then of course you have hydroxide left over and then we can repeat this two times. Right, to replace these R's with ORs. And then in this fourth step, we have our hydroxide attacks, our boron. After this, our leaving group or our uh, alkoxide is just going to leave. To form our deprotonated alcohol. And then the last step is simply a proton transfer. We have some water floating around. This alkoxide will deprotonate the water to reprotonate itself. And to give us our final product, which is this anti-Markovnikov addition, right? So um, again, right, there's the mechanism. The summary overall, if we have this alkene, if we add some BH3 inside some THF for the boration, hydroboration step, and then for the oxidation step, we add some hydrogen peroxide and some sodium hydroxide to get our anti-Markovnikov addition. Right, I used, I used different substrates, right? This other substrate wasn't um, in the mechanism.